Welcome in this tutorial. We are going to handle the settings and the calibration of a PME SWT with a Schneider M580. On this tutorial, we start with a PME SWT communicating properly with the M580. The Unity project is created and the PME SWT is added to the M580 rack. Check that your PME SWT as the run LED lighted in green. If it's not the case, report you to the tutorial Set up a PME SWT. In Tools, select the DTM browser. In the DTM browser, make a right click on the PME SWT DTM. Click on Connect if it's not the case. The PME SWT DTM is in bold if you are connected. In the DTM menu, select the device menu. Then Configuration. You will access to all parameters of the PME SWT. In the tab Application Configuration, you will access to all your process parameters. Most important are Filtering settings, Legal for Trade, and Metrology settings, the configuration of the HMI SW Touch. You can also access to the logical inputs and output settings. Remember that outputs 0 and 1 are reserved for those in process, and outputs 2 and 3 are designed to make threshold on the net weight, the gross weight, or the flow measurement. You will also access to the option settings. In this category, you will configure your load cell type, 4 wires or 6 wires, the terminal resistor of the auxiliary RS485 port design for the HMI SW touch, the span coefficient of the G values. In this example, I work with a 4 wires load cell, so the configuration is OK. You can also access to the name of the PME variables. After changing parameters, you need to transfer your configuration in the FDR server. For that, right-click on the PME DTM, select Device menu, then select Additional functions, and click on Transfer to FDR. The PME SWT will be reset after that. We will now calibrate the weighing module. Make right click on the PME DTM, select Device menu, then select Additional functions and click on Calibration. The calibration pop up appears. We always advise to make a physical calibration, so I will present only this way to calibrate the module. First, the maximum capacity of my scale. In my case, I will never weigh more than 3000 grams. You can also choose your scale interval, your unit, and if you need, a decimal point. I select the mode of calibration, so I select physical calibration. Then I will fill the number of segments. I choose only one. I will choose my calibration load, in my case 2000 grams. I click on apply. You can now access to the button start. Click on it. The calibration software starts. You can see the status LED, which was blinking in red, will begin to blink in green. That means a calibration is in progress. The soft asks you to check that there is no weight on the scale. Once this verification done, you can click on Next. The zero will be acquired. If you look to your PME SWT, you can see that the status LED is blinking less quickly. The soft asks you now to deposit a weight of 2000. You can go on. When you put the weight on the scale, you can see the stab LED blinking. When it's done, you can click on Next. The segment 1 result must be bigger than the zero result. The PME ends its calibration and informs you that all is OK. If it's not the case, check the load cell and its wiring. You can now click on Save in memory. The PME 
SWT will indicate the success of the calibration and will ask you to save it into the FDR server. Click on Yes. The PME SWT needs to restart. You can see the PME SWT restarting. And then downloading the FDR configuration Restarting again to apply this configuration. You can see the status LED. It is now lighted in green. You can now create a new animation table. Select the PME variable, unroll the menu, and you will see here inputs variables like gross weight or net weight. If you unroll the output menu, you will find the command register and the response register. Here I will put a command register here I will put the command register in hexadecimal to match with the user manual. If I send the command 00d4 for the tear You can see the net weight is set to zero. You are now ready to use the PME SWT.